In this video, I want to be talking about how you can be using your massage guns to work into your quad muscles, in particular, to get rid of any knee pain. So let's go. Thanks for checking out the channel. My name's John, I'm the head therapist here at John W Sports Injury. If you are new to our channel, well firstly, it's great to have you here. I need you to know that we want to be doing three simple things for you. Help you to understand and learn about your body so you can get rid of any weaknesses, pain, imbalances and dysfunction so you can strive forwards and hit those health, well-being, exercise and sport goals. So if you make your way through this video and you find this to be helpful content, why not subscribe so we can keep you updated. The subscribe button is down below. And if you are finding this to be helpful, you can do me a favour and hit that like button so I know this is the type of content that you want to be seeing. But massage guns, let's talk about massage guns. It's things that I talk about quite a lot. You can find other videos on my channels where I talk about what I like and what I don't like about it, and also how to work on other parts of the body. But today I want to talk about how I use it to work into our quad muscles, or we might term these the thigh muscles. Now, why these muscles are particularly relevant um, is that these muscles, we have four of them, hence the name of their quads, and they come down and they cross over the top of the knee. Now we all know that knee pain is something that can be commonly suffered. And what we do find is a lot of the time that might be due to some dysfunction or some areas of issue in these quadricep muscles as they come down and cross the top of the knee. So what I wanna talk about is that if you've got a massage gun, how you can use these to be most effective. I wanna talk about what um, heads that you should be using, and I talked to a couple of heads that we've got today, what speeds you should be using, and quite crucially, what areas you should make sure you're covering. So first of all, what we want to kick off with um, is what I call the ball head, um, and most guns have this. This has a bigger surface area, and we use it to cover a bigger surface area. And in this first bit that tends to take two or three minutes, really I have two aims. I want to be using this to encourage your blood supply to the area, to warm up the tissue, but also it's my fact-finding mission, or my surveying of the area, if you like. What I'm looking for is as I cover the whole area using the bigger surface area is, can I start to locate those sore points? So bearing those in mind, because we want to be really um, encouraging a blood flow, warming up the area, this is where I might hit my sort of top speeds. And what I want to be doing is making sure that I'm slowly working through all of the areas. And again, as I say, so whilst we're doing this, what we really want to be thinking about is, do we get some altered sensation? Is there a point where you find um, a area of soreness? This is what might be known as a trigger point um, or a knot in the muscle. Once you feel those, you just want to mentally take note of those um, and start remembering those for later when we're going to become a little bit more specific. But our quadricep muscles, we have four of them. We have run, one running on the inside, um, our medial quadricep muscle. We have two running through the middle. One being particularly deeper, you'll be hard to find that um, because actually this is taken over by the dominant quadricep muscle, what we call our rectus femoris. The vastus medialis is the inside quad, so I want to make sure I'm hitting that. And then we've got our vastus lateralis. Now, the other thing we want to think about is the orientation of those quadriceps. So the quadriceps are kind of biggest in the middle of our thigh, and they all converge and cross over this knee. So we know they're running down our leg in this direction. So the lateral one coming in from here, the medial one coming in here, and the middle running almost straight down the leg. So as I say, once we've gone through that area and spent two three, maybe five minutes at most, working into that. We should start to feel looser in the area, we should feel warmer in the area, and really ready to start to do our specific work. Now, what we wanna talk about here is this way is when we might make a change. And this is when we move on to what I often term the bullet head. Now, the bullet head is great because we can be nice and specific. So this is where we want to go back onto those areas that we found to be sore. Now, some key areas though for you to really think about now we're getting into that intricate work. Firstly, a common area to get tight, and you may have found this in your fact-finding mission earlier, is that these outside quad muscles, what we call the vastus lateralis, is it comes down off the hip and we often get tight in these lateral structures. In particular, we have a structure on the outside of our leg called our ITB. You may be familiar with this, it's our iliotibial band. Now, we don't necessarily want to get the gun onto this point. People talk about rolling out the ITB. But what we know is that this actually isn't muscle, it's fascia, and we can't actually change the structure of that. But what we can do is work into the nearby muscle. So I always kick off with that. So if you found some sore points in the outside, I would start with those. 
And again, what I do here is start with the gun nice and high to locate those areas, that change in tension. But once I hit those, that's when I drop down and I use my slowest speed because now I'm thinking about my purpose. And my purpose here is that I want to be relaxing this muscle tissue. So once I'm on that trigger point, I might just spend 30 seconds or a minute starting with its slowest. If I find that to be too slow, I might up that a little bit. But remember now, what we're trying to do is almost down-regulate that hyperactive tissue, if you like. So this is where we're now going slower. Let's talk about some of the key areas that you might find some soreness and why. So we have that outside quadricep muscles. It joins into the ITB. Very, very common. You also have this muscle bulk on the inside of your knee. We call this the VMO. Um, it stands for vastus medialis oblique. Now, I mentioned that our vastus medialis is our inside quadricep. The oblique fibers are running in a, almost a horizontal direction rather than vertical in that oblique line. And they have a big role to play in stabilizing your knee. So we often find that these are muscle areas that might become sore. So I would encourage you, now we're being more specific, to take that bullet head and just work into this. Now, this is a muscle we call the teardrop muscle. If you contract your quads, you can often see that form that teardrop shape, but a really, really common area. And once we're in this area, this area all along here is a common area for trigger point development. Why is this happening? Well, at this point in my quadriceps, they're converging to form what we call the patella or the quadricep tendon. And this tendon runs over the top of the knee. So working along that line here of where the muscle is turning into tendon, we call this the myotendinous junction, is a really common area to find some of those sore points. So key areas will be very much along that outside, particularly while it's close to the ITB, our VMO area, and along that a myotendinous junction area as well. You may well be finding trigger points in other areas, um, but they all of those are great to work on. And again, I tend to say spending one to two minutes on each trigger point using the bullet head. The final thing that I wanted to mention is we can get very sensitive up towards the top of the hip. So when we're in and around the hip, that's another good area to work. So particularly if you feel to the outside of your hip, you'll feel this bony lump on the outside called our greater trochanter. Lots of muscles converge into that. Now, if we, what we want to do is work close to that without actually going onto that bony bit. But you might find some real soreness. We've got a hip flexor muscle called our TFL on the outside. We have our deep hip flexors in here, which we often term our psoas um, and our iliacus muscles, but we really want to be making sure that we're hitting those areas in and around the hip as well. All kind of parts, the sort of top parts of the quadriceps. All four of the quadriceps come up and attach into the front of the pelvis. Again, another area where we can be sore. So if you want to get in there with the gun as well, that can be really helpful. When we're using these massage guns, make sure that we're not going onto bone. So again, if you're feeling some pain on the kneecap, there won't really be any benefit in pummeling that bone with uh, either head really. That's not what we're looking to do. We wanna be in those soft tissue structures. So I hope that's been helpful. I think really a massage gun session should probably only be about five to 10 minutes, but one of the things I love about these are they're nice and easy to do. Leave the gun perhaps by the TV, and if you're watching TV for a period of time, it's a great time to be working through those quads, and a lot easier than doing things like foam rolling, where hopefully we can have the same benefits as a result. If you found that helpful and you've got this far in the video, well, that's great. I was really pleased to see that. So make sure you can show me that you've come this far by hitting that like button. And as I mentioned earlier, please do subscribe so that I can keep you updated every time we drop a brand new video, ready to help you strive forward in your health and well-being journey. And on that note, here's another video that will be helping you achieve your goals. I'll see you in the next video.